Let's fire it up. That's gonna do it for me here in lane. Take my turn out. Next day. Don't you ever seen that on yours? Service brake, tra uh, trailer brake system. Well, about last year, about this time, I ran into the same problem with this thing. Um, it's a it's a 2011 GMC uh, Sierra 2500. I believe it's the SLE package. Um, first thing you got to do, let the spare tire down. I wasn't really going to bore you with those one with those details. Let me come roll under here. And that module is right there. As you can see, last year I had a gummed up broken wire. I figured maybe I had another one, but I don't. It doesn't look like we've got a broken wire. Everything looks pretty good. Um, I got another, I got another module. Ooh, that's dirty. I got another module in the glove box. That connector's pretty ratty looking. I'm gonna try that other module real quick and see if that makes a difference. Okay, as you can see, I'm gonna mic on me, hold on. You see, I got the other module plugged in. Let's go in here and fire it up and see if that makes a difference. This is just an aftermarket. I think I bought it on Amazon module. Let's get in here and fire this thing up again. See if that made a difference. This might be a diagnostic deal. Yeah, it still says service trailer brake. Let me try it again. I cleared it. Let's see what happens. Nope. Okay. Well, find out what fuse it is and uh, see what's going on. Check these wires better. Okay, I decided to take another approach at it. I got the scanner hooked up. That was the dongle. It's a Bluetooth connector. Let me uh, I'll go ahead and start it. See, light's still on. Or the message, I should say. I'll go here. Truck. Okay. Hopefully the wind's not bothering us here. Uh, automatic select. Breathe in. Okay. Just gonna ask a couple other questions. No manual transfer. Automatic AC. Yes, it does have trailer brake. It is over 8600. Uh, it does have vehicle. And it is a RPO Z95. I don't know if you saw that, but it's a six liter gas, 2011. I'm gonna try and go into the module and see if it's got any codes in it. It probably won't communicate with it because it probably is a power issue, I'm assuming. Uh, Diag control unit. Uh, trailer brake control module. Trouble codes, read codes. Yeah, see, it's not communicating with it, which means it's not getting power. I'm gonna try and erase the code and just see what it does. Yeah, it's not. So it's obviously a power issue. Let's try an active test. Trigger break duty cycle. Yeah, it's just it's see it's getting everything out of the way it's unable to communicate is what it says device and I may communicate with control unit so more than likely it's a power issue so I'll get the uh, power probe out and we'll check it with that okay back under the truck got the power probe plugged in this might be a little difficult for me to do this one-handed Hit this power wire, got the key on. It looks awful green right there. Let's check the ground. High ground. I 
Alright, I'll unplug this and just see if it's got power. Up in Damn it. Yeah, this is hard doing this with one hand. I mean, it's got power. What the hell is going on here? Ground. Let's see, what we got. Oh, we got everything. Oh, that's weird. Maybe it is this connector. Let me unhook it and see if we got power at the connector itself. This sucker's on here, too. There. Okay. So the one on the far left is going to be our power. Ground. Well, maybe. Oh, I got go from there. What is that? Oh, it's just tape. Well, maybe this module is bad. Maybe I gotta learn it, learn the vent in it or something. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. All right, we're back in the truck. Get it started back up. We'll go back in here. I wonder if I have to do like a learn on it or something. No, it's not communicating with it. Um, ID. Yeah, it's just not. Something's going on here. One of the data lines or something must be screwed up. Uh, well, I think I'm going to go in. I'm hitting the freeze frame if it's going to see. It doesn't have anything. It's so weird. Do an auto scan real quick. It scans all the modules. We'll take it a minute. Okay, so. Went over the wiring diagram. This is the control module. This is the relay. I had it messed up earlier. So each of these needs 12 volt power, and there's a there's a wire that comes back and splices off to them. So there's the red with a white stripe. It only had like nine volts on it. This one was good. It was 12 volts. Well, I think when the guys put in my fifth wheel hitch, which you can see up there, they spliced it here. You can't see it. They spliced it there. I put some silicone on it just to make sure it sealed up good. That's those heat shrink solder connectors. And then it was broken. The red white wire was broken in here. So I redid the splice, hooked everything up. Now everything's working fine. The other thing I found out is this connector was not all the way engaged. It's broken. The module part where the little pins are is broken. So I ordered a new module just for that reason so I can get this locked down. I got it zip tied down real good. Because I'm going to Lake Erie that's about three hours from here so I go inside and fire it up all right moment of truth Let's fire this bitch up and see what it does trailer gain look at that I can change the gain I can manually put it on no more service trailer light it was all wiring, no modules, no nothing. Well, it needs that module because the connectors broke, but man, I am freaking hot. It's, that's been a long job, but got to figure it out. You just got to go through the wiring, check all your voltages, make sure it's carrying the voltage good. I loaded the circuit with a light bulb and it would, it just killed it, took all the voltage out. So I knew there was a break in the wire somewhere. So there we go. We got trailer brakes on Lake Erie there'll be a video about that too we're going up to uh we're staying at East Harbor State Park camping and then we're going to go over to Putin Bay and have some fun 
Hey, peace out. Go out there and fix something. Happy Father's Day again. Love you all.